Hi, I'm Shani Rajan for Environmental Engineering. So today I'm going to talk about how we can make patients their own hero for the fight against cancer. So 47 years ago, President Nixon declared a war on cancer. He was so sure that the scientists would be able to find a cure for the disease. Did we? Sure. Now and then scientists have been proving that they can cure cancer in mouse models. Yeah, they are not able to translate the substance they found in these mouse models to humans. Why? Why can't we find success in these tumor models in humans? There are two main reasons. The first obvious reason is that the model that we're trying to test is not accurately representing how our body responds to a tumor, like they are not humanized enough. So the second reason here is the traditional approach of the chemotherapy drug that has been given to the tumor patient. So for example, if a patient goes to a doctor and is being diagnosed with cancer, what does the doctor do? First he sees what kind of a tumor type he has, and then he goes back to the previous patient who has similar type of tumor and how they responded to different drugs. Based on the drug that they have responded effectively, they give it to the patient. But cancer is a unique disease for each patient, so we cannot replicate the same results from one patient to the another. Though we know this, we are still fine to have the one drug cures all technique. And next, they try to do is a precision medicine to kind of narrow down the search because the broader technique is not working. So what they do is they try to do genetic profiling of these tumor and see what kind of mutation these tumor has and try to find not only the same tumor type patient, but also patient with a similar mutation and see how they respond to the drugs. Again, the problem here is we are still depending on other patient response. But we want to know how this patient is going to respond. And that's the question I'm trying to answer with our microfluidic device. It's called the tumor on a chip. So in this device, we are trying to develop a 3D tumor model deriving patient-specific tumor cells. So we isolate the cells directly from the patient tumor and make these three-dimensional tumor construct. The three-dimensionality of this tumor will give us how the tumor behaves inside the patient itself and also how they respond to different drugs. And this is built on a platform called microfluidic device. The microfluidic device gives us the capability of not only uh, high throughput screening, but also it uses a really small volume of these drugs. So once we develop these uh, constructs in the microfluidic device, we test them with different concentration, different drugs, and different combinations. Within five to seven days, we're able to get results on the most effective and the most safest drug concentration for the specific patient. With this information, the physician will be able to judge which is the most effective drug and make a treatment plan for the patient. So I think with this platform, we can make patient be their own hero for the fight against cancer. Thank you.